Hey everybody, I'm Shane Benedict from Legacy Paddle Sports and um, just want to introduce you to the, to the manufacturing area here and specifically we wanted to talk about the plastics and um, it was about five years ago that we started working with Revago on developing a plastic specifically for us to use in, in flat water boats, recreational boats, white water boats, all different kinds of applications and the thing that we worked on the most was making a plastic that, could, that would be light, tough, uh, abrasion resistant and just and something that we could also mold and make into kayaks and it took us a couple of years of working with the guys at Revago to develop it and we did a lot of testing we took all of our really gnarly hardcore whitewater kayakers and had them all fill out specific forms and evaluations on all the different plastics throughout a couple of years um, to evaluate the toughness of it We've also spent all that time molding those boats to practice how it molded, checking all the different recipes and temperatures and cook cycles, and, um, and developed through that time with Revago what is now called Aqua Tough, which is the plastic that we use at Legacy Paddle Sports. Hello, my name is Wyatt Stein. I'm the product manager for our Aqua Tough product line here at Revago Manufacturing Americas. We're here today with our good friends at Legacy Paddle Sports and wanted to talk more about you know, the history of our product and also the relationship that we've had with Legacy over the last few years. We developed our AquaTuff product line several years ago specifically to address the, the kayak and canoe industry. When we first approached Legacy, we needed to partner up with a kayak manufacturer whose their demands and their customers' demands would really push us to make the best compound possible for this industry. You know, the AquaTuff compound has been designed to withstand the most rugged conditions and environments and to have the longest lifespan of any other material out there. In addition to some of the components that we put in here to make, to give this the strength that it needs and to give it the durability, we've also added a 15-year UV package, which nobody had put into kayak compounds previously or since. So the, not only does that allow the boat to retain a nice, sharp, vibrant color, you know, for at least 15 years, if not longer, but that also will protect the boat from the polymers, if you will, from being broken down by sunlight over time. So not only is it going to give you nice color retention, but it's also going to protect the properties inherent within the polymer compound. My name is Roger Geyer. I'm the technical director uh, here at the Houston plant. Uh, I designed the AquaTuff uh, compounds specifically for the uh, rotor molding and the kayak and canoe industry. Here at Revago Manufacturing, um, we uh, wanted to be involved in the kayak industry. We're a custom compounder, so the materials that we design and produce here are custom, they're designed specifically and tailored for our customers' needs. And we made the decision that we wanted to design and engineer a polymer um, specifically for kayaks. Since there's not a standard resin in the industry, uh, like is used for films and models and so forth. We want to design a specific resin that would perform uh, specifically in the kayak application. And we came up with the AquaTuff uh, trade name. It's a registered trade name. Uh, we've been very successful. Uh, we brought this product to Legacy a number of years ago. We worked with their uh, uh, rotor molding and, and manufacturing facility to dial in and tailor uh, the process so that they could produce and realize the full properties uh, of the compound itself. While working with uh, their manufacturing people, uh, you know, they were best in class as, as far as rotor molding. They were very precise in how they uh, designed their process uh, to fully realize the properties that we designed into the AquaTuff. So they have been successful with that process and a big part of their success is, is being able to manufacture and process the material uh, into a hull uh, that has superior performance from a material standpoint, from the compound that we design, and from the process that, that they then use to make uh, into a hull for the, for the watercraft. Through that process of, uh, of creating that plastic, Revago set us up with a really good place to start with, creating the right materials for us to make our boats with. The next phase of that whole process is manufacturing. And it really is a lot like cooking anything. You could be cooking a cake or cookies or, or a kayak. 
it's all cooking it just right. You, you don't cook it enough and it's a gooey mess. You cook it too much and it's hard and brittle, that kind of thing. You gotta cook it just right and the kayaks are no different. There's an exact amount of time where the plastic becomes the best of its, all of its properties. If you cook it too little, it actually can be brittle. If you cook it too much, it can be brittle. You know, it, it's, it's all those things are factored just like they would be for anything that you cook in an oven. And so we spend a lot of time actually tuning in not only the molds, but the specific boat sizes because they'll cook differently. You know, a big cake takes a different amount of time versus a smaller cake. And there's even a little bit of variance, even amongst boats that are similar in size, the shape even has a little bit of a, a difference in that, um, that cook cycle or cook time, as well as the cooling cycle, the staging of the boat, all of those things are really important. But the most important thing is that we get a great material from Rivago and then we cook it the right amount. And we do a really good job of getting the perfect cure every time.